You're watching the Bayou Outdoor Show, presented by Bayou Outdoor Super Center, Louisiana's largest RV and boat dealer. Tubbs Hardware and Rental, Bossier City in Benton, Louisiana. Shreveport Tractor, where the coffee pot's always own. Pete Mankin's Nissan. And by Trace Atkins, High Tower Country Smoked Sausage. Folks, welcome to the show. I'm Milton Daly. And if you like Africa, we're going to be bow hunting. Uh, wildebeest will be taking a heart of beast and an eland, which is the largest antelope in the world. It's coming up right now. There's the bull. Nope. Oh well. Folks, that's what a herd of blue wildebeest looks like escaping the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fantastic bull. Man, look at that. They do all that snorting and grunting. Yeah. They know who we are. Oh well. Let's things happen in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> What does it? What does the giraffe taste like? Chicken? Meat texture. Oh, I thought you were gonna like say chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my egg go? <laughs> yeah, dinosaur egg. Hey, folks. Here's what. You know, Africa is so neat. Not only can you provide the steaks for supper, look here, <laughs> we got breakfast during the morning, an omelet. <laughs> that's enough for, that's enough for Keith. 20, 24 chicken eggs. 24 chicken eggs? Yeah. Like I said, enough for Keith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna be right back and finish the wildebeest hunt right after we go to Bossier City and visit with Steve at, uh, he's gonna show us a Tiffin motor home there at Bayou Outdoor Super Center. Hey folks, well, welcome to Bayou Outdoors here in Bossier City, Louisiana. Want to show you a new Tiffin motor coach by Tiffin. It's a 45 foot tag axle. 45 foot. Large awnings, something new in the industry. Covers the whole side of the coach. We got outside TV. We got a lot of basement storage on this unit. We even have a freezer refrigerator that comes out in this unit. Milton, this unit has an aqua hot system in it. The aqua hot is a force fired furnace. It burns diesel fuel. It heats water. It also heats the coach. It's one of the newest things in the industry. It folds up and it becomes part of the bus itself. It's part of the trim. You won't even know it's there once it seats in. Now you don't even know there's been an awning there. This slides out or slides back in. It just comes undone, folds down, and then it slides back up. This is something new for 14. They've added drawers here to the cabinetry. 
unit has a household refrigerator in it and you can run off that inverter I mentioned outside to do that. The batteries will power the 110 to run this if you need to. This is your half bath. That's as nice as the bathroom is in, in most uh, turn on some lights here where we can see. But anyway, got a large king size bed and it sleep by numbers. You have a control that cro controls your comfort. Ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. And that's 12 volt. Turn some light on back here in the bathroom. Large bath, walk-in bath, walk-in shower. We have a big walk-in closet. Home theater back here, home theater up front. Comes with direct TV already installed. Large drawer area. And it's on metal casters. A lot of them are not on metal casters. Tiffin elected to do that. Mm-hmm. Actually functional. That's where we're getting our heat. Part of it right now. And the other part we have uh, in the ceiling. Three TVs. What's that all about? Well, three TVs actually is inside the coach with the fourth outside. Folks at list for 424, 417. Come see me here at Bayou Outdoors, Bossier City, Louisiana. Three down here is the one in that green bush in front okay, of that yeah. green bush. Yeah. The one in front of that green bush. Okay. Right here, right here. Look at this, folks. He's really starting to bleed right here. Look at that. Way up in the bush. Way up in there. Look at that. Oh, that's long right there. Definitely some. Oh, ho, ho. There it is. Folks, first, blue wildebeest with a bow. Hey, bow tag. Right here. All right. I'm telling you what. Look at this. And, and of course, you got to have a good arrow. And a, the beaming arrow, that's what we use, the beaming arrow with the muzzy broadhead, they will put it on a big wildebeest like that. Folks, you got to come to Africa. I mean, there's nothing like it. And, and don't listen to all the news, bad press about South Africa. This is a place to come. I will bring my wife back here and my kids because this is a great place. And th yeah, hey, man. Brian, you are the man. Yeah, you <laughs> You're the man. Thank job. you so much. It's Good Hunters, um, Hunter Safari, Hunter Safari, right here in Africa. You've got to book a hunt with them. Now we got more Africa hunting coming up. We got a heart of beast and we got a an eland antelope, which is what like was talking about, the largest antelope in the world. And but hey, if you want a cool thing to do next weekend, uh, there in uh, Shreveport is go to the boat show. What do you say? Let's go over to our presenting sponsor and talk to Larry about uh, over at the uh, Bayou Outdoor Super Center and talk about what's going on at the boat show next weekend. Hi, I'm Larry Brazil, owner of Bayou Outdoor Super Center, and we'd like to invite you out to the RV and boat show that'll be at the State Fairgrounds January 17th, 18th, and 19th. We have bought in volume this year to bring you the best sales possible at this new show. We have bought over 110 pontoon boats that will be there on, on display, along with Ranger's new product, Eptic Bay Boats, Ranger Aluminum Boats, low aluminum boats and express aluminum boats along with Sea Ray ski boats, 
Subra tow boats, Malibu tow boats, and Moomba tow boats, and the Axis tow boats. If you need it to put on the water, Bayou Outdoor has got it. We have eight certified technicians that can take care of all your needs. They're all factory trained. At the RV and boat show at the fairgrounds in January 17th, 18th, and 19th, we'll have special financing. Angela Baker here will be there on hand to take care of all your financing needs. We will get you in the boat that you desire or the RV or motorhome that you desire and be a part of the Bayou Outdoor family. Okay, folks, what we're fixing to do is we've got right on the side of this mountain up here is a, a group of red hartebeest, some world-class hartebeest, and right in the middle of them is a nice eland. I want an eland, but I want a hartebeest. Well, I get both of them, but it's whichever one poses the best shot. And you know, like I said, I want an eland, but I, we're gonna try for whatever, whatever we can do to get them. We're gonna try to sneak up on them right now. There's some right there. Going out there, we're gonna sneak around that bush and try to get a hold of them. If we could make it down in that there in a group of trees. Okay, they're coming down the hill. And okay, let's get ready. They're gonna they're gonna come right down, right down here, a little closer to us. All right, we'll get it on him. I'm... He's coming down the hill right now. How far? How far is that? Oh, I lost him. See me? I lost him. Behind a little. To your left. All right, the little one's in front of him. He's got nothing in front of him, really. Nothing yeah, there. yeah, right there. He's going behind the bush. He's going behind the bush. Oh, oh, kick the camera. All right, he's about to stop. Oh. Folks, I tell you, that is awesome when they drop like that. It's all about knowing your equipment. All about knowing your equipment. Red heart of beast. Probably a world class. Well, what do we have here? Now this is a heart of beast, right? Yeah. And you've done it all by yourself. <laughs> I mean, I left you and Keith there with a difficult situation to distinguish between male and female. Right. And I went around because uh, I, I'm not that capable with a camera as one of you. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you did an excellent job. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, that's what it takes. These things look, the f male and the female have horns. Yeah. But, you know, the main thing you said is the difference. Look at the difference in the bases. And there's only, what, two, two of these bulls in that whole Yeah, herd. there was two bulls in the, in the group. And, uh, yeah, well, you, you, you did well too. Today, I was going to talk to everybody about the boat show we're having the 17th through the 19th of January. 
What we're trying to do now is we're changing the format a little bit. We're getting away from the old boat show ways and, and, and trying to bring in a little more excitement, uh, bringing the factory reps, we'll have them on hand to help us out and answer questions that normally you can't get answered just walking into a boat dealership. We're gonna be doing a lot of things by changing the formats and the plans of how we're selling the boats and, and the discounts and all that is gonna go into effect. As this year, we're gonna, uh, on our metal boats, we're gonna do a $250 store credit where you can buy life vests, all that good stuff. If you buy a fiberglass boat or a pontoon boat, we're gonna give you a $500 credit. So you can go back there and buy all the necessities that you need Plus, you're going to get the great discounts at the boat show prices. You know, they got some great incentives to buy at the boat show next weekend. And the only way that you can get that incentive is go by the boat show there in Shreveport. So go see our good friends at Bayou Outdoor Super Center. Now, what do you say? Let's go over and visit with another good friend of mine, Mr. Don Tubbs. He's always cooking up something special at Tubbs Hardware. Milton, we talked earlier that the food that comes off the big green egg is the reason why it's so great, how it tastes. Natural lump charcoal is the reason. Natural lump charcoal burns hotter, burns longer, burns entirely. And get this, you relight this stuff over and over and over again. It makes natural lump charcoal the most economical charcoal you can buy. One big bag can last you many, many cookings because you're going to relight it over and over again. Using the natural lump charcoal, all you need is these little starter buds right here. These starter buds are very inexpensive. Women really like to light it with these because all they do is put it up underneath the charcoal, take a little striker lighter, big type lighter, and light those little starter buds and that fire will get to going. Easy to use. Now this is something that the guys like to use. It's called the loof lighter. The loof lighter looks like a great big curling iron. But when you put that down into the natural lump charcoal, get a shot of this. It doesn't take no time at all for the loof lighter to get that fire to going. Well, a big green egg is the greatest slow cooker smoker in the world. So we're gonna show you today how to slow cook some chicken. The plate setter is, is, is just a big piece of ceramic with the feet on it. And what it allows the heat to do is roll around the food. That way the food doesn't get too done too quickly and we have slow cooking going on. And if you want to add wood chips to it, you can create a smoking effect at that point. Or you can put the feet down and make the greatest pizza in the world. It becomes a pizza stone if you want to use it that way. But we're going to show you today how Don Tubbs loves to cook his chicken. Here we go, folks. We got our chicken ready. It's all been prepped and everything. We've got the plate setter. And oh yeah, get a load of this. Here in Louisiana, oven mitts look like alligators. We've got our chicken sitting in the V-rack. And the V-rack is where you can set your food directly onto the plate setter. I use the pan, like I mentioned, to keep the plate setter clean. Or you can turn it upside down, and it's a wonderful, wonderful rib rack. Now we're gonna put this down. We've got the temperature. This thing's gonna cook around 350 degrees. We're gonna cook it for a good 45 minutes. Then we're gonna check it, the temperature, I want my chicken to come off when it's 165 degrees because I try to create an atmosphere that when I put the food on, it's not right out of the refrigerator. And I also know that I want it to have a little resting period afterwards so that it's about 180 when I actually eat it. People ask me all the time, why is your food so moist and delicious? Number one, because of the big green egg, and number two, because I don't overcook it. Milton, I was telling you out there by the, by the big green egg that we're cooking the chicken on that there is just numerous amounts of accessories. Nobody in our industry, in the grilling industry, has as many accessories as a big green egg. They have this wonderful 
tabletop cookbook that you can use. And I've had people actually buy this and didn't even own an egg. They thought the book was so pretty they wanted to get it and just put it on their coffee table. But the accessories are just endless. I'm gonna walk you through and just show you some of the highlights. The uh, planks that I was telling you about, this is the one that I use the most cause I eat a lot of salmon, but they have the maple, they've got the cedar, they got the alder, they, they, they got the red oak. The seasonings, Big Green Egg has teamed up with Dizzy Pig and they have some of the most wonderful seasonings in the world. Well guys, it's been about 45 minutes. The chicken's ready. I'm fixing to take it off the Big Green Egg. You can just pick it up on the V-Rack, take it in, look at the juices on that thing dripping. Guys, I don't want you to see me on camera eating this thing because it's gonna be messy. This is a juicy chicken and I'll make a fool of myself on camera. Y'all come see us here at Tubbs. A fun place to shop. There's one. That last one was a dark one. Is that a bull right there? That middle one, small bull? Uh, that dog one is a bull. Any size to him? No, he's still young. He's young. He's the second one from the right on the bottom. No, from the right. He's standing right in front of a bush. Right above the bush? No, he's no. the one that's walking? Below the bush. The no, 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 the, the one in front of him. Here, you got him? Yeah, yeah. All right, here you go. I think it's a good shot, the first one. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. I think it's a good one. He went down, didn't he? Yeah, he's still running. All right, right now we're on our way to look for the eland that I just shot. And my guide spots a kudu, which is real high on my list of animals to get in Africa. And he's a big one. And uh, hey, we didn't have time to explain what we was doing. This is the best day of my life. I have never been <laughs> an eel. <laughs> Run up a mountain so hard Re in my life. Reload in case I don't know where the second bullet hit him. But reload, so in case he gets up there, he has to take another quick shot. Man, folks, we got an eland down right there. We're just going after the eland to find him. My man. <laughs> And uh, we went, like I said, went to get to Elon. And while I was going to him, he says, Kudu! And I said, I'm out of here. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get him. Okay, what we done, we got the Elon down in the bottom here, way down in a, in a ravine. And uh, we got a truck up on the top of the cliff up here. And we're going to actually, <laughs> we're going to winch him out of the bottom of this, of this ravine. I don't know how far. A total of about 100 yards straight down. He run for three miles. We finally caught up with him, and I'm kind of glad it happened because we got you put me on a kudu while we was looking for this one. También tenemos carros económicos como esta Centra 2013, va como 35 millas por galón. Les ofrecemos este financiamiento. Tenemos como 20 bancos que le podemos ofrecer todos especiales, y también vamos a ir a los carros que que están de lujo. Here at Truck Country, as you've seen us before, several months, we've had plenty of inventory. It changes all the time. 
This is the new FX Ford, Ford Power Step. It's pretty as it gets. Hardly had to clean it up like a brand new truck. Just buying it a lot cheaper than a brand new vehicle. Uh, you have a Pro Comp lift, brand new all terrain tires, moto metal wheels. Uh, as you can see, it's spick and span. Nothing to complain about. Ready to take home. Got a bed cover for all your decoys and hunting gear. Lock it up. This is a 2011 FX4 long bed. Of course, it's hard loaded, air conditioned seats, heated seats. As you can see, it has a gooseneck. It'll pull a house. It might even pull that building down over there. But it's hunting season. It's time to get started. I got a little bit of everything right here. Big old power wagon, forerunner. That's not a truck, but it is an SUV. We'll go anywhere, pull anything you want. Of course, Jeep Rubicon right here. Best of the best, best in class Jeep there is. Lifted up Chevy. For all you boys and girls that need that truck that needs to just go through those mud holes, look at that Dodge right there on those 33 inch mud grapplers. Right here at Truck Country, we got it all. También tenemos carros de lujos como esta camioneta que se llama Toyota Sequoia. Tiene todo el lujo que le podemos ofrecer. Motor 8 y todas las cosas que tiene. DVD player, este, navegación. Le ofrecemos buen precios y todas las cosas. Vénganme a ver aquí a Nissan, a Pin Martin Nissan. Mi nombre es Benito y les puedo ayudar y muchas gracias. Milton here at Truck Country. We don't want you to go to Shreveport, Little Rock, Dallas. We got vehicles that we're very proud of. One, because they got a great history, but not only that, we're like family around here. We're not gonna miss your business on the price. We're gonna keep it local. We're gonna keep it like family. Now folks, I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you wanna have a really good time, next weekend we'll be at the boat show there in Shreveport, uh, presented by Bayou Outdoor Super Center. Folks, it's gonna be a lot of good times there. Special incentives when you buy a, a boat, uh, hey, an RV, all that stuff, go by and talk to our good friends at Bayou Outdoor Super Center. And also, the hey, they're having a weigh-in. Now, you folks that's never been to a bass uh, tournament weigh-in, go by there and see that. It's gonna be Saturday afternoon. Check the website and uh, come by and see us right there at the boat show. Now next week, we're gonna have uh, hey, some more African hunts. We're gonna have a lion hunt, and, and heck, I don't know what all. Uh, let's, let's go watch some scenes from next week's show. Your pocket. Hold on. 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 Hold on.